Okay, so welcome to the another video tutorial and in this particular video, I'm going to show you how you can host Django website on cyber panel. Okay, so without wasting time, let's get started. So first thing first for this particular video, there are some prerequisites. First, you should have cyber panel installed. So in my case, I'm using DigitalOcean and this is the server where cyber panel is hosted. Okay, so let's do one thing. Let's open another tab and right here and let's try to access the cyber panel right here. So as you can see, it is showing me cyber panel URL. So uh, right now there is no need. So I will just minimize this particular DigitalOcean dashboard. If you haven't installed and you want to install it, go ahead and click on the link in the description where you will get $200 credit for DigitalOcean. Okay, so let's go ahead and minimize this particular thing. So let's type username as admin and let's type the password here and click on sign in. And once you are inside, let's go to the websites and let's create a website. Okay, so in my case, I don't have DNS uh, a name record pointed. So what I will do, I'll just open another tab and I will open my DNS for my domain. Okay. So in my case, I am using Cloudflare, but in your case, it can be anything. So the steps are now going to be a little bit different in your case. If you are not using Cloudflare, the feeling is same. You just need to add the uh, name record, right? So let's go ahead. Let's click on the add record and I will say DJ. Uh, I will basically host the website on the subdomain. Okay, so the domain is going to be the dj.1yt.in. In your case, you can just host on the 1yt.in also like uh, main domain also, right? So let's go ahead, let's copy the IP of the server from right here, cyber panel URL and paste it here and save the record. So this will create a record for dj.1yt.in. Okay, uh, right now we have created the record. So let's go ahead in the cyber panel and let's select the package owner and let's add the subdomain here. So our subdomain is basically dj.1yt and dot in sorry dot in so that's our subdomain right here but in your case if you are using the main domain again then you just need to enter the main domain there is no need to enter subdomain here make sure that you are adding the valid you uh, email address here because on this particular email address you will get uh, error messages alerts and email uh, ssl alerts right then there is a php version it doesn't matter which php version you are uh, selecting because we are hosting the django site and it has nothing to do with the php Let's select the SSL and OBDA, OpenDI protection and let's say create a website and website is successfully created. Okay, so let's go ahead open the terminal on the Linux. So right now I'm on the Ubuntu, that's why I'm opening the terminal. But in your case, if you are using the Mac, then again, the terminal is same for you. And if you are using the Windows, then definitely you need to open the CMD. You don't have option. So let me make the terminal a little bit bigger so that you can easily view it. Let's do SSH login into the server. So let's type SSH and root at IP address. So let me just copy the IP address from cyber panel URL and I will use exactly same IP address of the server. Okay. So in your case, if you are creating cyber panel on, let's say, uh, AWS or something, then you might need to enter Ubuntu user here. So in my case, I'm creating on DigitalOcean. That's why I have root user. So let's hit enter and let's let's type the password right here and that should be it so right now i'm inside the server so let's clear everything and make the terminal a little bit bigger okay so next thing we need to do is we need to install some libraries on the server so that we can go ahead with the django setup the first thing you need to do is you need to install build essential library obviously it is going to be there already but in case if it is not there then we should be installing it okay then there is a, a python 3 dev and it should be also there so let's go ahead let's clear the everything right here and then we need to face the package of the wsgi server because if you remember django website uses WSGI servers. So that's why we need a WSGI. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's call this particular library and let's save it here. So as you can see, the zip file is right here. So let's extract this particular zip file using this command and do ls. As you can see, the folder is there. You can do cd WSGI and you are inside the folder. So if I do pwd, this is how the path looks like. So let's do ls and as you can see, so inside the folder, there are some few files available. So let's go ahead and let's type python3 configure.py and that will configure everything. And once it is done, just make sure that you are clearing the terminal and typing the make. So once you do make and if you face any error, you are not seeing these outputs. If you are facing any error, then you chose the wrong OS because 
there is a problem with uh, ubuntu 23.04 there is a problem with ubuntu 22.04 also what you need to choose is only ubuntu 20.04 20.04 that's where you will not face any issue with the django right so let's clear everything and let's move let's do ls first and as you can see there is lswsgi file created and we need to move this particular file in the path so that it can be executed the path is user uh, local lsws and fgi cgi bin okay okay so let's, let's do one thing let's copy this particular path and do ls right here and let's see what are the files in this particular folder so as you can see there are lswsgi file is there and lsphp and whatever is there so we just need a lswsgi file there okay so everything is done let's clear everything up next thing we need to do is if you remember we created one website okay so let's minimize this terminal right here and as you can see we created successfully this website so let's go to the dashboard let's go to the website and let's go to the list website and let's find our website here so our website is dj.1 in so let's go ahead and click on manage let's copy this particular url of the website and let's paste it here so as you can see it is showing the by default page of this cyber panel okay but in our case we don't want that we want django website there okay so let's go ahead and let's again open this particular terminal and do cd and then cd slash home sorry home and let's type our website subdomain which is dj dot one dot dot in okay so in case you are using the main domain then please type your main domain okay then there is public html folder let's go inside the public html folder and let's do ls so as you can see we are able to see exact same index dot html file okay so so far so good there is no need to delete the index dot html file because it is not doing any harm to us or it is not confusing anything okay so let's clear everything make sure that you are in this particular directory now we need to get the django website in order to host okay so for sample i have created django website on my github so that we can use in the demonstrations right so let's go ahead and let's uh, actually access the github okay so my github is right here and as you can see this is the django sample you can see this particular url i will mention this url in the description also so that you can copy from there let, let me go ahead and copy the github repository url and let's uh, open the terminal again and let's do git uh, clone and then uh, the url okay so let's hit enter and that will get me the django website from the github okay so let's do ls and as you can see the django website is already there inside okay so next thing we need to do is we need to create a virtual environment that's the most important part we need to create virtual environment okay so first thing first let's do mkdir and create a folder called venv okay so the folder venv is the location where we are going to install the virtual environment so in order to create a virtual environment what you need to do is we need to type virtual env space venv so virtual env is the package you create the virtual environment and venv is the folder location if you do ls as you can see we can see venv that folder we created so this is where the packages should be installed okay so let's do virtual env venv and hit enter so as you can see it has completely successful so let's do ls and let's type venv and as you can see there are files there inside okay successfully created let's clear the terminal then do source venv bin and activate and that should activate our virtual environment okay so let's do ls and let's go inside the django project using cd django web uh, sample then do ls and as you can see there is a requirement.txt file is available basically what is this requirement.txt file is basically uh, it has the list of the pip packages that we need to install if i do a nano here as you can see these are the packages we need to install so let's go ahead and let's type the pip install dash r and then again requirement.txt and hit enter and it will start installing the packages once it is done let's go ahead and let's clear the screen do ls and go inside my test okay and do pwd simple pwd and that's the path of the uh, project we need to add in the configuration okay so next thing we need to do is we need to go to the cyber panel so let's go to the cyber panel 
in the uh, dj dot one dot dot in the website management thing. Okay, so if you are not uh, confused, then it's okay. But let me repeat the process again so that uh, everyone will be on the same page. So let's go to the list website. Let's go to the dj dot one dot dj dot one dot dot in. Then go to the manage and then go to the scroll little bit and go to the virtual configuration. V host configuration and let's go to the bottom of the file. Okay. So right here in this particular file, we need to paste the some configuration. This is the additional configuration. Okay. So basically we need to add this particular context, which, which will be responsible for making our Django project live. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's check right here. The type of the app server is going to be the same. Then there is a project location. So if you remember, we did PWD and this is what we got. So this is, is our project location. Okay. So let's go ahead and let this particular replace this particular project location with the, our location. Then there is a bin path. We don't need to change anything here. Then there is an app type. We don't need to change it. And there is a, again startup file. So for startup file, let's do ahead and let's uh, copy our project name, which is my test and paste it right here again so that it will be access the wsgi.py file will be accessible. If you want to check the directory structure, if you are you know confused right here which path is doing what and everything then what you can do is you can just go on the github and as you can see there is a my test folder inside that there is a manage.py and everything and then again my test folder and there is a wsgi file so that's why the my test is repeating first it is going to the my test folder and then again inside of my test there is a wsgi okay i think everything is okay so next thing we need to do is we need to provide the env file okay so we created some env which is virtual environment where we install the packages so we need to pass that particular path okay so let's do cd here okay so sorry i did mistake we shouldn't do the cd but anyway let's go ahead uh, let's do cd slash home uh, cd slash home then dj dot uh, one dot o dot in which is my domain uh, or subdomain you can say then public html and then venv Okay, hit enter, do pwd and this, this is the path where we have virtual environment. So let's go ahead here and let's replace the path right here. So remember, we just need to replace this particular path because see, if you are completing this particular path inside venv, there should be bean and then python. So if you see right now, we are inside a venv, right? If you do ls, there is a bean and if I do ls bean, there is a python inside it. So we are doing the right thing. Uh, let's go ahead and let's again uh, replace this particular path. Where is the venv folder is there uh, or uh, virtual environment folder is there. And once it is done, you can just go ahead and click on the save and that should be it. Okay. Saving it is taking a little bit time, but okay. So for configuration is saved, everything is okay. So let's go ahead in the browser and let's type dj.1.yt.in and let's refresh this page and it should show Django website right here. So as you can see, our Django website is live and working and this is how you can host your Django website. So right now, these Django templates I have created for multiple video tutorials. That's why it is showing, congratulations, your Django web application is up and running with Nginx plus Gunicon. Okay, but in this particular tutorial, we are not using Nginx, we are not using Gunicon. Okay. I have another tutorial which is using Nginx plus Gunicon. That's why the template is there and name is there because I initially created this particular sample Django project for that particular tutorial. In this particular tutorial, we are using purely WSGI server plus cyber panel or you can say plus open light speed server in order to host Django website. I hope everything is clear. If you have any doubt, you can leave in the comment and I will try my best to answer it. And that's uh, actually uh, everything for this particular video. If you are liking it, please hit like button. If it is helping you, please hit subscribe button. And yeah, that's it. Um, thanks for watching this one and see you in the next.